Welcome to a quest for metal. Today we got another album ranking for your ass, and we're doing Agalock, one of my favorite albums. Albums, one of my favorite bands of all time, fusing folk with black metal. It's atmospheric, folky black metal, and they are one of the goddamn best. One of the best. I'm sad that they broke up, because I love all their albums. But today we have the harrowing task of ranking them from my least favorite to my favorite, and this was a painstaking task. But also it was fun, because I love all the albums, so going back through them, I had a blast. Uh, but let's start with the weakest. And before I start, pop yours down in the comments below. What's your favorite Agalock album? What's your least favorite? And yeah, let's get straight into it. So the latest one they did, The Serpent and the Sphere, is my least favorite. Um, I don't say that lightly, because I still adore this album. I just think I've heard the others so much, so goddamn much. Um, in my youth. Because <laughs> I'm an old man now. Uh, yeah, I've heard them loads younger, when I was younger. And this is the newer one. So I've heard it a lot, but it just hasn't resonated with me as much as the other albums. That's all I can say for this one. But the songs on it are really goddamn good. The Astral Dialogue, Celestial Effigy, Battle of the Ages. You know, all these songs kick ass. They're all... What you come to expect from Agalog, they're long, they're proggy, they're folky, cool singing, cool growls, cool instrumentation, everything's there, and it's the best produced one, but I just think the songwriting is not as good as any of the other albums. I just think none of the songs are as catchy as any of the other albums, uh, but they're still, you know, it's still a great album. You know, I can't recommend this album enough to people. But it just has to be, something has to be last. You know, something has to be last and just happens that it's this one, I'm afraid. So coming in next is the debut. So from the latest album to the debut album, Pale Folklore. I do much prefer this because the songs have stuck in my head more. The songs have stuck in my head. And the melodies in some of these songs, man. The melodies. Hallways of Enchanted Ebony. Oh, I love that one. The Misshapen Steed. She painted fire across the sky. Like, what? Come on. Like... This album is a great album. The only reason it's a bit lower than the rest, aside from the fact that I like the songs on the other ones more, is the... the uh, I don't want to knock it down for the production, you know? It's the first one, but the sound on it could be better. The sound on this album, it does sound the most different to all the other Agalock albums. Like, this is the most different sounding album from Agalock. Uh, it is kind of raw, but... I think that works for the album's favour, to be honest. But if we're going by personal preference, I'd prefer the sounds on the other albums, so... Uh, it pains me to put it lower, but yeah, it's going here. We're coming in next, Ashes Against the Grain, an album that I love. I love all the songs in this album. People shit on this album for the sound design being too polished. Even the band was like, oh, it's too polished. Oh, we want to go back to the black metal -y stuff, which, you know, sure, whatever. But I think it works so good and well. You can hear everything. I don't think it falters. I don't know what the I don't know what the band's fucking talking about, to be honest. This album is flawless. Limbs, falling snow. Everything has a catchy chorus. Everything has a catchy melody and riff in the songs. Fire above, ice below. That's one of my favourites. Bloodbirds as well. Bloodbirds. And not unlike the waves. This is a this is a 10 out of 10 album. This is an amazing album. And it just goes to show that Agalock have made so many good albums when this is this low and it's one that I regularly, regularly return to and it's one of my favourite albums of all time. Yeah, it's just they have two of us which surpass it. I, I don't want to linger. I don't want to linger on this one because it pains me to put it here, just like Pale Folklore. Uh, so let's move on. So the next two ones I had real hard time. I had a real hard time because I love both. Just like that one. Um, Marrow of the Spirits going here. It's the most black metal-y, I think. It's the most dark in my eyes. The Black Lake Nid Stag. I probably said that wrong, but that has got to be one of my favourite Aglock songs of all time. It's long as hell. It's interesting as hell. And then the riff in the middle. Oh, fantastic. Love that song to pieces. They escape the weight of darkness. To Drown is such a beautiful song as well. There's only like six songs on this one, but they're all fantastic. They're all long as hell. And this album is just 
just a great journey. A great black and folk, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, journey. And yeah, I love it. It's one of my favourites of all time again. But there can only be one winner. And generally it is this album. And you know, I had a hard time, to be honest, because people... I said generally is this album, and that's true. But I could have so easily just swapped this with a number two. I could have so easily swapped this number one with number three. So even though it's ranked here... The four albums, four albums, uh, Serpent in the Sphere is not my favourite, so the four albums, joint number one in my eyes, but I have to rank them, so fuck it, here we go, The Mantle is number one. The songs are more beautiful, more painstaking, more, there's more heart in the songs I think on this album than the others, so I give it a bit of an edge. In the Shadow of Our Pale Companion is a masterpiece. A bloody masterpiece, that song. You Were But A Ghost In My Arms In Odal. And my favourite song off the fucking album. One of my favourite songs of all time. A Desolation Song. Yeah, it's kind of acoustic -y, but who cares? It's beautiful. Reminds me of, you know, like, Solo Song, Catatonia, Insomnium, Doomy, Depressing Shit. I love that stuff. I love that stuff. And this has that stuff in that song and some of the other songs. The moody guitar, the melodies, it drifts you off. And it's peaceful, it's relaxing, I love it. This album's fantastic, from the artwork to the songs themselves. Nothing wrong with this album, beautiful piece of art. This is art. This isn't even an album, this is art. Uh, I don't want to get too overexcited about Agalog, but I wish they come back. I wish they'd come back. Love everything they've done. So yeah, my favourite album is The Mantle. What's your favourite album? Let me know down below. Is there any albums you hate by Agalog? And are you sad when they broke up? Let me know and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.